is our, one of our world beds. As you can see, it's absolutely jammed with plants. Uh, all very growing very close together and that's primarily because it's all self-seeded uh, we didn't have to plant any of these plants at all they've just grown uh, from seeds from last year's plants um, the, um, when you come to pick them all you need to do is just pick the Pick the leaves. Don't pick all of them. Leave some around the outside. Pick the, the newer, the newer of the leaves rather than the old ones. You can leave the old ones uh, at, at the bottom behind. Um, and then we'll take these we'll take these back and and do some extracting from them. Okay, so here we've got a, um, a cold extraction of indigo, sorry, uh, world leaves. Um, I've picked the, the leaves about a couple of hours ago and all I've done is washed them to remove any soil or any, any of the uh, mucky bits. Uh, and we've just put them in these tubs in cold water and It'll take about three days, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less. It all depends on the temperature out here. Uh, I've got two, two lots here. The first lot here, the leaves are quite good quality. Um, <clears throat> and so I'm, we're hoping to get a decent extract from that. But this, the, the leaves in this particular container have been mildewed, quite badly mildewed, and do we just? Well, I just want to see whether there's any indigo in in them left, because the mildew damages the leaves quite a bit. Um, we've got some containers here full of water, just lying on the top, which just keeps the indigo, the the, the leaves, the world leaves below the surface, stop them, stops them from rising up. So this is day two of the indigo extraction from world leaves. And I'm beginning to wonder if it's not time to actually do the extraction. Um, the liquid in both baths has changed quite a lot and the leaves have become quite limp and beginning to break down. Um, uh, the colour changes are quite uh, significant and we'll do a close-up in a minute to show you that. This is the other container, uh, the one that contains the, the, good, the good leaves from the world, world plant. And uh, you can see, hopefully you can see on the surface here, the surface developing this purpley uh, scum, which is actually indigo, uh, which has come to the surface. And you'll also see lots of bubbles um, on the surface as well. Now these bubbles are indi indicating that there is fermentation going on in this bucket uh, and some of the bubbles are rising to the surface from it. Now that fermentation is often seen as a sign that the indigo pigment is ready to be extracted. I'm not absolutely certain that that is a, a, a particularly good indicator but it is an indicator. Um, and if I move, if I move the this bottle here floating on the surface, you can also see it's slightly blue where it's been under the water. So the indigo is coming out and staining the surface of the plastic there. Yeah. Okay, uh, this I've now got a magnifying glass pointing uh, a bright light onto the liquid and as you can s hopefully see the liquid is quite is this bright blue uh, you can only see this you can only see this uh, in reflected light um, when you actually uh, look at the color of the liquid on its own 
it's a sort of brownish colour, though you may be able to see some blue tints around the edges of the, the jar. <clears throat> uh, so it's quite difficult to actually, because, because of the, <clears throat> in this liquid there is uh, a tan dye, and that obscures the blue colour. So you can only actually see that blue colour uh, when in, in reflected light, uh, strong reflected light. So if I, put, I, I just pour this, this, this brown liquid back into the tub and you may be able to see some, uh, some blue light uh, reflected through it. Not much, I think. But the fact that we've got this blue, this blue colour in the liquid uh, shows that there's a considerable amount of indigo ready to be extracted. I'm not absolutely certain that now is the right time. It may, it may be we need to leave it a little bit longer, but probably really not very much longer. So this is day three uh, of this woad indigo leaf extraction and uh, it may be, maybe I've left it a bit too long but uh, hopefully not. The, there is a bit more indigo uh, scum on the top of, the, of these extraction baths and the liquid is certainly a bit darker. So I'm now going, I'm now going to take out all the leaves, uh, the contacts, strain all the leaves off so we end up with just the liquor. Okay, so I'm going to use a pair of tights, a pair of old tights, to strain the leaves. He's great. Wait out. And we're just going to pour in the leaves and liquor. All the leaves are going in because I'm going to give a bit of a squeeze. just to get the last bit of juice out. Right, that should do it now. Let's have a bit, let's have a look at the colour of this liquid just at the moment. As you can see, it's, it's a sort of greyish uh, greyish, quite dark greyish colour. Uh, it doesn't look very promising, does it, at the moment? Um, but we'll see. We'll see what what happens. You could, you could at this point start to aerate this liquid in order to precipitate out the indigo. Um, I am going to add a little bit of ammonia first. Ammonia is a good, strong alkali, and the alkali helps this reaction uh, from uh, the reaction of the um, uh, the precursor chemicals, converting it to indigo, and which will then precipitate out. So, so basically, the alkali will speed it up. Okay, let's. I'm going to put a little bit of this liquid in uh, the jar and add a little bit of ammonia to it, just to show, to show you the colour change involved. Okay, so there's the, there's the colour. It's a nice grey, um, dark, brownish colour. And we'll add some ammonia. That's quite a bit. And swirl that around a bit. 
Now the colour's gone, it has gone a bit yellowish. Uh, it's not a huge colour change, but it's definitely gone yellowish or greenish. And the stronger the stronger the the um, liquid, the more the more indigo there is in there, the greener that liquid will become when you add the ammonia. Right now, let's put that in there, and I'm going to add a little bit more indigo. Sorry, a little bit more ammonia. And I'm now going to start transferring this liquid from one bucket to another to aerate it. Okay. That. I'll be doing this. I'll be doing this quite a few times, just to add oxygen to it. As I do, as I aerate it, the liquid should be getting a little bit darker. Okay, the colour of the lick, the uh, foam on top is beginning to change now. And it's definitely going a bit blue. Okay, see that? Can you see that? Liquid is quite dark now, and as you can see, the froth on there is, is becoming quite. It's, it's only a pale blue, uh, but it's definitely blue. 